this is what most students find themselves in a position. Like I'm studying, but whatever it is, it isn't quite working anymore. I can't finish the syllabus. I'm not quite getting to the stuff. I'm supposed to be doing practice questions and stuff, but I, I just can't get there. I'm struggling to fit this into you know, my life, into my work and, and all the rest of it. The question we have, what's happened and how do we fix it? Yeah. What do we do about this? What's happened? How do we fix it? The thing that we assume, and it's very difficult not to, is that the stuff that we're looking at has got more difficult and we are somehow maybe not smart enough to reach that level. We were smart up to a point and now it's kind of gotten beyond us. We can't do it, shouldn't do it, whatever the case is. So the first interpretation we have is that, okay, this is more difficult. And the challenge that I have with this is that the response is generally, we do the same stuff because that's what we've always done, but we do more of it. And somehow, even though I am doing more of it, it's not enough. It doesn't seem to be enough. So the question now is just how much is enough? Because if I can't get there on the basis of what I'm already doing, I don't know how, like, how much time would I actually need in order to do this entirely? That, that's just not going to work. So that's the one interpretation we have. The other one, however, is something that most of us, we kind of feel, but we don't really understand and we don't really articulate. And that is, it's not so much that things are more difficult. It's that there's change. There's a change and the change is the outcomes are different. So the stuff that's required from us are different. And it's not about, it's not a level change. You know, it's not like, okay, well, you're going to do the calculation. And it's going to be more difficult. It's not a level change. It's a skill change. And that's something that we're not really aware of. And we don't really know how to deal with. Nor can we really articulate that that's what's really happening. I'll explain that a little bit more just now. If the outcomes have changed, the reality then is that our approach needs to change. We cannot study the same way for different types of exams. If the outcomes have changed, our approach needs to change. And this is where I come in. Okay, so this is the stuff that I, that I talk about. The starting point is to say, okay, so my studying is not really working anymore. Are things more difficult or are they different? So one of the ways this plays out and one of the ways you can see what I'm saying is when you look at questions and they don't seem to connect to the theory and the knowledge that you've done. And the reason for this is, well, it's obvious, you know, from this perspective, but it's very difficult when you're in the moment and going, but I thought I studied the stuff and I can't get there. I don't know what you want from me. I don't understand. Some of my students actually go as far as to go like, do they want me to fail? You know, they're trying to sabotage me. Like the people that set the exam, do they want us to fail? <laughs> you know, did they not teach us properly? What is going on here? The fact that it feels unfamiliar is because there's a very big difference between flat theory and practical application. 